100,000 subscribers. For a lot of people, it's a requirement. A requirement that symbolizes you just one step closer to being monetized on YouTube. For other people, it's a milestone. A milestone that symbolizes you build something from the ground up just by making videos. Videos that, in a lot of situations, influence other people to do the same. And obviously everybody's YouTube journey to 1K is, is different. And... I'm going to talk about mine today, but in order to do that, I need to make a pit stop. Let's go. Don Dewey corn pups. You got two of those. Yeah, two corn pups and the devil. How are burgers supposed to look? How are onion rings supposed to look? come to Atlanta and visit some friends and uh, kind of shed his milestone with him because it really did kind of contribute to the growth of my channel in a lot of ways. Um, and I used to live in Atlanta for 10 years, so it's kind of like my second home, regardless to how bad the Saints f over the Falcons twice a year. <laughs> If you like me, you start your channel, you won't build an audience, but nobody knows or even care about who you are for that matter. So for a long time, your first few videos are gonna be for a very, very small corporate people. These are most likely be the people that are gonna subscribe to your channel and never watch your videos, or at the least watch at some point. But that's all right because Nothing wrong with that. Just use them for practice and hopefully get you some feedback that will be better. When I first started this channel, I had zero intentions on turning it into anything meaningful. And I watched a lot, a lot of YouTube videos before I decided to upload my first video in April of 2021. And that's despite having created the channel in February of 2011. So essentially it was just a fuck off channel for 10 years. And you might be like, damn, it took you three years to hit a thousand subscribers. And truth is that was really all me and uh, my consistency or uh, lack of it. 2020 is this big bang of new YouTube channels popping up and I'm living in Los Angeles at the time and I have to leave and go back home to New Orleans by my parents in March of 2020. After a 42 day cross country road trip and three months before I'm set to go back to LA, I upload my first vlog to YouTube. And it was really one sole channel that I ran across after watching so many videos that just made me feel like this is it. This the type of content I want to make. These are the type of videos I want to shoot in this style, um, but from a perspective of somebody from New Orleans. And the reason why that's important is because I had not seen nothing like that on YouTube with somebody talking about tech and food and travel from New Orleans. Shit. Speaking of New Orleans, I probably need to be getting my ass back though.
I was watching a video the other day and in the video they was talking about how you need to create the videos you won't see and kind of feel like I've been doing that but not really leaning into my story and I know I'm still in the honeymoon stages of YouTube and hopefully I brushed up on that a little bit in this video with some more to come but if you just starting on here and you feel like your growth is slow keep pushing just keep pushing be as consistent as you can but don't force it and when you get there notice your first 1k subs is just practice not a hard work for games That's how I'm trying to spend my first 1K with the people I care about the most. And what's next after that? I don't know, I can't really tell you. you. Just have to hang out and see. That's gonna be it for me today. Let me know what you think. Leave a like on the video. Share it with your friends for a second opinion. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button twice. I'm out.